Hello, my name is Ken Anders, and I am the head custodian here at Jackson Elementary. I'd like to read a story to you today, and one of the reasons why I think reading is so important is because it gives you an opportunity to, number one, learn more about uh, different things in the world, and it also gives you the opportunity to form a picture in your mind of how a story goes versus... Uh, for example, seeing it on TV and watching it on TV gives you the ability to uh, create your own image and expand your own creativity. And I think that's so important to you all as you go through elementary school and later in life uh, to develop that. And uh, I think you'll just really enjoy uh, the things that you get out of different books, things that you learn and that you can apply and know uh, in your own life. The book that I've chose to read today is called The Lion Who Lost His Roar But Learned to Draw. The book is written by Paula Knight and Daniel Haworth. Roar! Lionel loved to roar. He had a deafening voice. It startled butterflies and birds. It scattered herds of animals. Please, can you try to be a little quieter, Lionel? asked Papa. You've disturbed the birds, flustered the butterflies, and the zebras are hiding again. Roar! You're giving me a headache, said Mama. Why don't you sit quietly and draw? Drawing is boring. I like roaring. So Lionel did just that all day long. Lionel's roar drowned out the whoosh of the waterfall. He shocked a flock of flamingos. He alarmed the aardvarks. He panicked the parrots. The next morning, Lionel tiptoed to Mama and Papa's bed. He opened his mouth but nothing happened. His roar was no more. Oh dear, all that roaring has made your throat sore, said Mama. Lionel was thirsty. He pointed to his mouth. I don't know what you mean, said Papa. And you see the flamingos that Lionel scared up and the aardvarks, the parrots. Lionel went to the lake for a drink. The flock of flamingos squawked at him, but Lionel couldn't speak. The parrots on their perches said, Crock! But Lionel couldn't reply. The monkeys chattered, but Lionel was silent. The elephants trumpeted, but Lionel could only sigh. See Lionel getting a drink over here, and all the animals are talking back to him, and poor Lionel can't speak to him now. Look, Lionel, said the monkey, you've drawn a pattern. It's a curly swirl, just like my tail. Drawn, thought Lionel, but drawing's boring. Pretty pattern, pretty pattern, squawked the parrots. Lionel had to agree that the pattern did look rather good. Can you draw me, asked Flamingo. And me, added Monkey. Lionel could only nod. He bounded home, and the other animals followed him. He chose a pink crayon and started to scribble. When Lionel handed over his drawing, Flamingo was so happy. Thank you, Lionel. It looks just like me. See the pattern that Lionel's paw prints and tail made in the sand? And then his picture of Flamingo? Mm -hmm. 
Drawing was fun. The different colored crayons matched the things around him. Bright blue for the clouds. Pretty pink for the flamingo. Yummy yellow for the bananas. Glossy green for the grass and leaves. Lionel busy drawing with all the different colors. How lovely, said Mama. You do like drawing, after all. N no, Lionel croaked. His voice was coming back. It's Lionel with Mama and all the animals. I like drawing! And Lionel once again startled all the animals and Mama and Papa. And that's the end of the book. I'd like for you to do a writing exercise now about the story that we just heard. In the book, the jungle animals are sick of Lionel's noisy roaring in the story. Can you please take time to make a list in your notebook of times when it is not a good idea to make lots of noise? Also, I'd like for you to make a second list of times when it's acceptable to be noisy. Thirdly, I would like you to think about in the book do you think that the that Lionel will be less noisy now that he can draw? And if so, please write down why and explain your answer. I'd like to remind you at this time to please view at least one of these videos each week and do the writing exercises in your notebook. Remember that those who return their notebooks at the beginning of next year will receive a prize bag. I hope you have a wonderful summer and have fun reading.